Hi, well, it was BlytheCon a couple of days ago. The first one I've ever been to, so it was a new experience to me. Uh, I didn't really know anyone, but everybody was friendly, so that was nice. I did meet a couple of people, though, that I knew from DollyCon, and I got to meet a couple of YouTubers that I know, so I'll be talking about them as we look at things as well. And also, I will pop some photos on the end. I didn't video the room because it was very busy, so there was a lot of people, and I think you'd have seen more people than stalls. So what I actually did was I photographed, tried to get most of the stalls anyway, and absolutely stunning work on these stalls. So yeah, it was a great shopping day. I got there a little bit later, so I missed the queues, which was sort of a good thing, because I know there was a little bit of a queue there. So by the time I got there, it was only like 15 minutes over the time, so the queue must have gone down quite quickly. Um, I got I got straight in and they pass you. The first thing they do is they say hello, etc, etc. Uh, they get you to do a little name badge and they give you a goodie bag. We all love a goodie bag, don't we? So those are my purchases in there as well. So I got some bits and pieces that I'll show you that we got in the goodie bag. I'll also show you what I bought. Um, oh, I could have carried on buying and buying and buying and buying. I didn't. I did restrain myself. I got quite a bit of mine because I had saved up a little bit of money before I went but uh, I was trying to be sort of good because I've got a couple of other things coming up I've got the UK BJD coming up although I have a stall for that so that's going to be a little bit different and also we've got a holiday only three days after that so yeah I tried to be a little 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 bit good but I had asked for some money for my birthday as some of you know it's just gone so that was the money really I was using at the convention so it's a little bit guilt-free they were my birthday presents really and I'm sticking to that plus a little bit more but we had a great day I didn't stay for the full day because it was my grandson's birthday as well so and I wanted to have a quick look in York so we had to get back ready for his birthday party so I had a great time shopping as you'll see from the photos of people I met um, it, it was just lovely it really was um, I went to York because it was a local one I've got a feeling it's down in London next year I might be wrong I'm not sure about that you'll have to wait if you do go to BlytheCon for any new updates and things I'm presuming so I went to the convention bought some gorgeous things I also went into York as I mentioned and I need to do a separate video for something I got in there totally unexpected it always is I always say that it's like I'm surprised but I seem to be quite lucky and I do fall on getting items but I'll do that on a separate video anyway and then as I say we came home for my grandson's birthday party so it was all it was a wonderful but very exhausting day so we're going to go top down now I'm going to show you some of my goodies we'll have a chat while we're looking at it and don't forget to have a look at the photos at the end you will see some stunning doll work you really really will so let's go top down and have a look what i've got so let's have a look at the goodies now i didn't buy this girl there this is mine and i took her as my little guest to the blythe con she's got a new outfit on the little dress is made by cheryl from bella doll clothes but i made her a little cardigan to sort of go with the flowers on it and I did some little boot cuffs just to sort of blend it all in. And this is one of my hats as well. So she was my little guest for the day. Um, which she sort of helped me choose a few things, things like that. I took a few photos of her. So I'm just going to pop her to one side because she wasn't something I bought there. Now, this is the goodie bag that we get. So you get one of these tote bags, which is great, obviously, because it says Blythecon UK 2023. And this was the hair there the pussy cat's been on the table uh and this was the schedule of events for the day now some of it as i mentioned i couldn't do because i did need to get home but there was all sorts of things there was some workshops uh there was the photo booth there there was a competition um for fashion design photography etc etc so it was it was all good fun really so i'll pop that to one side and because this is what you want to see isn't it this is what you want to see now some of this included in the bag and some of it i bought so i've got quite a mixture here so i'm going to just literally empty it all out and i will tell you as i pick each one up where it came from or whether it was the in the goodie bag or something like that as you see there was lots of little leaflets and cards from people now this was a little sticker that came with the goodie bag so i'll put the goodie bag stuff over there so that's one um this also came with the goodie bag look how cute that is and it's a great way of advertising the companies as well so I've got a little doll hair clip there uh i got a yorkshire tea because it was in yorkshire of course and then we got 
little cauldron. Oh, oh, I missed that one. I nearly threw that one over. And some little hair clips again. Look how tiny they are. Again, these all link to people who sell either on Etsy or something like that. We've got some jellies and some little spiders. Uh, my husband was about to pinch the jellies going, oh, you can't eat them, can you? But the fact is he didn't check. They are vegetarian, so yes, I can eat them. So he's not having them. <laughs> There's a little pumpkin in there, but these are cute. I do have some like this, but they are perfect for doll photography. And that was a freebie. There was a lady going around uh, passing those out as well. I'm um, hoping um, her card... Oh, I've probably mixed the cards up. Apologies for that. But yeah, so that was a lovely little gift to be giving out to people. Now, what we got here? Oh, that came with my goodie bag. So these are all my freebies in the corner. These also came in the goodie bag. I mean, look at them. They are just the cutest. They have little acorns that are all beautifully autumn. And look at the photography as well. And obviously, where are we getting the right way around? So it says who they're from on there as well. So that was a lovely gift to get in there. Enamel badge, always good to have. And we have another little sticker. So they came as freebies. And then there was lots of little pieces of... Uh, oh, that shouldn't even be in there. Let's take that out. You know, like cards, in advertising, other people, other Blythe cons, things like that. So it's all nice to have a read at. So those are all the freebie goodies, which were lovely. I think I've got them all. Oh, no, I haven't. This was a freebie as well. Look at this. It's like a little case. It makes like a little luggage box, which I think is really good. I've not made it up yet, so that's going to be a bit of fun. And again, the name of the person that gave that up for the goodie bag as well. And there is one more thing. I'm fibbing. There is one more thing. And it was this one. Now, a lot of you will know Beth from Beth Ramsden on her YouTube channel. Um, and this is one thing that she offered up for a freebie in the goodie bag as well. So this is something I want to do as well. So I'll be doing a separate video of this. We have a little bag here, which if you watch Beth's channel, she's already got on how you can do all this. So I'll not go into a lot of detail because... I can sew, but I'm not sort of very good at teaching the sew inside of it. So Beth's is the best place to look at for this. These are some of her ring paws that 3D printed that she's had, which I think are fab to have all the different colours. And this is a little dress pattern, which we're definitely going to have a go at. So I will make it. We'll make the bag up and show you sort of what I came out with. So I've already looked at the instructions on Beth's video and they're so easy to follow. So that's that's a great one. Again, what a freebie. That is really nice. So let's go on to what I actually bought. Now there's oh there's another card there. Let's let me see where they are. Now this is one thing that I bought. Now I've seen these before and I've wanted one. Um, but they're usually from the US and here in the UK, well same as for you guys in the US, if you buy from us, you know that the postage is sometimes more than the item you're paying and that's really frustrating when you want something. So when I saw it, I just completely fell in love with it. It's Barbie. I know I went to BlytheCon, but these are used as accessories. So this could be Blythe's Barbie, basically. So she's got this little carry case, which is really cute, very vintage looking. And then when we open it up, ta-da! Look how cute that is. I mean, the little Barbie actually comes out. So she's got a little Barbie to hold there which is really nice. I'm not sure how they were originally designed because there's a little hook. Could it be a piece of jewellery eventually or something like that? I don't know. It just says uh, metal ink on the bottom. Um, and then obviously this is fixed in. But it's like sort of like her own little doll carry case so she can have a doll in there. So I just, how could I not? I couldn't resist that one. Now, onto shoes. I love a shoe. Now, this one, I mean, some of the store holders had travelled in quite a distance. They were not local. I mean, literally from all over the world. Um, and this one, I'm not sure whether this is, oh, it's this bit, whether this is actually the person that had travelled in. Because I've bought off these, uh, bought shoes from these on Etsy and they are absolutely amazing. Now, that isn't the price of the shoe. <laughs> I didn't pay that much. These were £7. But look how lovely they're packaged up. And I just thought they were super cute. How cute are they? Now, those are going to be my Blythes for when we go on holiday. I have to make her a full outfit yet. So those are our shoes. Well, I haven't got to make a full outfit, as it turns out, because some of it's in here. But I have to make some uh, crochet accessories and things like that to go with it. So those are our little shoes. And I love the little box. It comes in too. 
Now, I'm going to go on to one now, and you're going to say, but you crochet. Yes, I do crochet, and yes, I could crochet this, but the price of this, you can see it's £10, is amazing. I mean, this person has put so much hard work into this. Now, I've not, because I've not opened any of them yet, so we're going to open them here. Um, and I just couldn't resist. Um, I think she should charge more, to be honest. I know I don't like to charge a lot with my things. I like to sort of keep them within the realms of, you know, I like to think if somebody's got a £5 or a £10 in the pocket, they can afford to buy something from me. Um, whereas I know some stores, you need like £50, £60 pound before you can buy something. But if we can just see, I can't actually read her name. I um, hope if you pause it, you might be able to. She's clearly on Etsy. Um, so you might be able to see that. Let me try and move it a little bit closer. See if you can see it. I'm not sure. Did I knock the camera then? It's because I lent right into it, didn't I? But this, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I won't come out. I'm going to have to rip the paper. I don't want to rip that name bit because I want to keep that and have a look later. So look at that. How perfect is that? Absolutely perfect. Like I say, I know I make a lot of bags and things. Um, so I can really appreciate the work that has gone into that. Um, this person has spent a lot of time doing it. So that's, so like a foam. Oh, that's like, um, oh, I can't think of it. It's a foam you can buy anyway. Um, but yeah, beautiful. I couldn't not. Um, I said, just cause I crochet, you know, in fact, if anything, because I crochet, I can appreciate really the work somebody puts into something. And, and so she so deserved that sale cause that is stunning. In fact, one of my favourite pieces out of the whole thing. So I do love that. Absolutely gorgeous. So we get a little dress. I mean, you can see I paid £10 for that one. I mean, there were some dresses and there were some dolls. And there were a lot more than this. But all oh, the work that had gone into them, you know, with layers and laces. And the face-ups on the dolls. And yeah, wow. If you've got money not to worry about, oh, you could have put some gorgeous things. But this is a little teddy bear dress. And again, this is another person on Etsy. So let's see. I think all the details are inside. I've got lots of bits of paper to throw away. There we go. It says, thank you for your custom candy floss by Rose. So I'm going to keep that one because I'm going to have a look on her pages so I can look at everybody's Instagrams and things like that. But again, how cute is that? Little teddy bears. I love teddy bears. And yeah, I just completely fell in love with that one. So I'm going to carefully put her card over there uh, so I don't lose it. And we'll have a look what else I've got. Now, this is came from the same seller, as you can see. And it says Dutch Blythe Fashion. That's why I'm saying. People were literally coming from all over the world. Um look how she's packaged them as well that's really pretty i paid 20 pound for this gorgeous little bambi i could not resist it i love bambi themed things uh, as you'll have seen with my last illy doll that i got but just look at that it's i love it so much and i also bought this from her again a little vintage kitty there uh, which was 10 pounds so we'll get into that one i've got her card over there so i don't need to worry too much about the paper and look at this how cute it just sort of velcros part way down and yeah again beautiful thing and the thing i got with it because i got these and then i was looking at that and i wanted a little pair of stockings now these are only two pounds i mean she's really cheap um because yeah i can make some of this but for two pound is it really worth and i'd rather give somebody else sort of the trade as well it's nice to support each other but look how delicate they are. So that is to go with her little Bambi dress. So that was a little dress collection. Now, the other thing I bought, because that was really all, you know, all, <laughs> I bought quite a bit. But those are the things I bought from the stalls. Those were the things I got free in my bag. Uh, oh, I am fibbing. There's one more. It's because I didn't notice the paper bag. Now, again, we talked about Beth Ramsden's site. Well, I bought something from Beth as well, which I have bought from her online anyway. So I got myself another neck joint while I was there because it saves on postage, doesn't it, if you buy it? So I got my neck joint. And then she's got these. These are absolutely adorable. It says handmade lid unscrews adjustable. So can you see? Look at the details. We've got a little 
little tiny sort of, I can't think of the word, buckles, that's it. And it does actually open. Look at this. I didn't notice that. My husband read it. It is a cute little acorn. Little bag. So again, we've got sort of, oh, I'm actually going to be spoiled for choice what to take for it because we're going to be going to Efteling. So it's very fairy tale, uh, Efteling in Holland. Um, so I wanted to dress her quite fairy tale. I'm not sure now. Ooh, she's going to have more things than me to take on holiday. And then the last thing I did get from the stalls was this from Beth. Now this fabric, if you've watched her channels, you'll have seen how she actually designed this fabric so there's best details there as well so it's really nice to sort of get something that's a little bit more original you know it's not just a fabric somebody's bought it's something well as i said she's designed it so let's take that out i don't need to keep best details because i've already got her on instagram and everything else but yeah so we've got this really cute again Look at this i love actually the extra details that we've got a little ring pull blithe ring pulls there um Again, pop over to her channel, have a look and see if you can find this one and she'll explain what all this is about. But yeah, so cute. I've also gone for something like this because then I can crochet a top. I mean, can you imagine a little crochet top and then the little bag? That's going to look really sweet. Too many nice things. So I will start again saying this is what I bought on the stalls. This is what I got free. But they had a bring and buy stall. Now you can already see sort of what I paid for this. And obviously bring and buy, people brought things in um, that perhaps they didn't want anymore, things like that. And then they were selling them on the table. It was a little bit of a fight to get to it because everyone was very excited because there were so many nice things. But I managed to squeeze in um, and I saw these. Now I did miss out. I heard somebody saying she got, I mean... I, it was tidier than this. I've messed it up because I've already had a look, of course. Um, I had somebody else say she picked a bag up like this and there's a little doll. I don't know whether it was a petite blithe or what in there. So I did miss out on that one because that was the same price. But £30. We have a list of all the items. So let's just get on and look at them, shall we? Because these are really nice. This is a bargain. A real bargain for its price. So we can st we'll start on the top. My bag's just fallen on the floor. We have a carry case. Now I don't have a carry case. So again, this is perfect for the holiday. I love the dinosaur theme. I'm gonna have to keep my grandson off it though because he's obsessed with dinosaurs, so he's going to want it. But it's a lovely quality bag, and I like how obviously to protect her face, we have this little bit here. It's really nice and soft inside like a fleece um so i mean that's worth more than 30 pound on its own so that was the first thing that came in this little bag of goodies then we had some coat hangers which has got some cards in as well thinking about amsterdam because obviously i said that's where we're going on holiday uh is it big eyes that's in amsterdam um oh god that'd be amazing to go it's the first time we've traveled over there so i've always said i've already said depending on what the travel's like perhaps at some point we could re-go over again All right that's just my little list wasn't it we have some cute hair goodies all packaged up nicely so we've got some little clips which are always good i like these clips because they hold the hair really nice so we've got some little clips there uh, oh so many things and then there was another little package I'm not going to take these out because I don't want to lose them so we've got like a little parcel <laughs> just look at them I'm actually going to put them in my doll's house rather than the Blythe because I think they're a little bit small for Blythe but this would be great for accessories and things let's have a look and a little bit of information there again so we've got another card I've got loads of cards to go through and then we'll get on to some of the clothing now as I say I think I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the whole point of the bring and buy is items you've had. So they are second hand essentially, but a doll is hardly going to wear her clothes out, is she? So this person has put obviously this little collection together. So we have a little dress there. Now I love this one. I love the daisies on it. So we have another little dress there. We have a little knitted top and a little bag to go with it. I think the bag is crocheted actually, not knitted. But that's cute. I do like the top. I know I mentioned before, I can knit, don't knit, don't really like it. So that is why I don't do it. Now, I always pronounce these wrong, but they're sort of like the, the Japanese skirt. So a sort of kendo-esque skirt. And when we, oh, I don't want to lose that bit. And where did we look? My husband looked. I'm sure he said it was an A-zone. Yep, it's an A-zone one. So that's nice. That is really nice. I'd have to create the rest of the outfit. But 
that is a lovely start to it oh we have a little ikea bag now i have actually already got one of these my cindy got one of these but aren't they cute they were the key rings that ikea did they are great for doll accessories so if you're taking your doll to ikea it's quite fun another very nice little knitted jumper which is really cute i'm doing my logo now i don't think it'd go with those colors will it but it'll go with something and i can make something to go with it now what we got i'm sort of saving that one for last there we have some skirts Look at these, aren't these nice? These little wrap over skirts. That's a really cool idea to make skirts as well. I don't know whether you do the wrap over to the back or to the front, but again, they're nice, got lovely colors. And this one's really cute. It is, uh, what's it, corduroy. That's the word, I was trying to think what it was. So it's this sort of matching corduroy skirt and jacket. I think if I'm looking at where we are, I'm presuming that might, to be to go with it i think that would look well or i might actually do sort of a paler lilac top crochet one to go with it but it's a full outfit and then this one i fell in love this is the way i picked this one up because we have toadstools now again i've going for that sort of fairy sort of uh, woodland theme for when we go away and i take the doll i'm going to be making her a mushroom hat so that's another thing i have to do yet before the holiday now i don't know i'm going to take the full outfit it might be just the skirt because i wanted to make a cape a little green cape so um it might be just the skirt but these are really nice i mean it's fully lined you see the lovely lining in there as well so yeah i was very excited when i saw that one so 30 pound for all of that it's just amazing so that, i think that was the bargain of the day but some of these are purchases of the day because I did love some of the... Well, I love them all. I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't. Um, I'm very sort of picky when I buy things. It has to be something that really makes me happy. I don't buy for the sake of it. So over the moon with all of it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Have a look at some of the photos afterwards. As you will see, there's a photo of me with Beth and there's also a... I just actually thought that's quite funny. I didn't think about it. There's a picture of me with Beth but then there's a picture of me with somebody called Bethany, um, who also has a YouTube channel. It was so lovely to see her because I know uh, Bethany from DollyCon as well. So that was even more special. So her and her mum were there. Um, so I'll put a link for both Beth Ramsden's and Bethany's. Um, I think it's BC. I'm really bad because I can never remember anything. I'll put the link below. <laughs> so please have a look. Uh, and I might actually try and put it on the video. I'm not very good at putting words on the videos when I do them, but I will try and put underneath the pictures of me with those persons, their YouTube channel. Does that make sense? I think so. I will do my best anyway, but there will be links below. So have a look. Have a look at my photos. They're just a dream, some of those stalls. Um, if you enjoy my channel, please like, subscribe and share. Hope you enjoyed having a look at that. I am over the moon with my goodies. And I'll see you all soon with another video. So bye-bye for now. Fly so high, I'm hypnotized. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Sky on your mind